Welcome back to XFL Fan Schweiger's Den, and I wanted to show a little bit of this Aaron Rodgers introductory press conference for the New York Jets here that happened a couple months ago. I'm not going to play it all, but I'm going to play some of it. Welcome everybody, I'm Eric Elfan with the New York Jets. Just before we get started, uh, I wanted to go over a few particulars here uh, after we have some remarks. From the stage here for Mr. Johnson and Aaron, uh, we'll open up the Q&A. What we do ask is uh, we raise your hand, we'll call on you and you get the mic, please introduce yourself and your affiliation. Um, after the Q&A, we'll do a photo op here at the top of the stage and then we will break down for one-on-ones. Um, so let's take on. Uh, pleasure to bring the stage, the chairman of the New York Jets, Mr. Woody Johnson. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all doing? Really good. This is a happy day for my brother and I, for the organization here, and especially for the Jets fans all over. The and what the coach and the general manager and the staff has built over the last two years, the culture that enabled us to attract somebody of the caliber that we're looking at right now, Aaron Rodgers, a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. Uh, Aaron is a tremendous player, is an understatement, and he makes everybody around him better, and we're so happy to have him. We are delighted and happy. We couldn't be happier to have him as a New York Jet. I'd just like to have a round of applause right there. Welcome to New York, Aaron. We're glad to have you. I thought you were supposed to shake my hand. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Christopher and Woody for bringing me here. Um, obviously, Coach Sala, Joe Douglas, my agent, Dave Dunn. Um, this is a surreal day for me after spending 18 years in the same city. It's been a lot of uh, introductions today and meeting a lot of people, but there's a lot of excitement. Uh, I'm here because I believe this. I believe in this team. I believe in Coach Sala. I believe in the direction uh, of Joe Douglas. Obviously, he's drafted really well the last couple of years, having the uh, offensive and defensive rookie of the year. Um, but big thanks to the Jets organization. Obviously, a big thanks to the Green Bay Pack organization for an incredible run. Uh, that chapter is over now, and I'm excited about the new adventure here in New York. So I'll open up to questions now. Okay. You can raise your hand. We'll get you. Right here. Hi, Aaron. Welcome. Congratulations. Tina Servasio from Fox 5 New York. So you mentioned the draft just now, and you believe in the direction that Joe Douglas is taking the team. But what really attracted you to make you start thinking that the New York Jets would be the next team you would play for? Well, they smoked us last year, so I knew they had a good team. <laughs> uh, we got to practice against them a couple years ago, and I got to get to know Robert a little bit more. And I've always loved what he's all about. We played him in San Fran a, a few times, and mostly they got the best of us. Um, but I liked the way that he was leading, his coaching style. Um, a big reason I'm here, i got to mention, is Nathaniel Hackett, who's here. Uh, Hack and I became really close friends for three, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, three years in, in Green Bay. And I love him like a brother. And I believe in him. And I'm uh, really happy to be back working with him again. Obviously, Joe has got a great track record so far of drafting some incredible players. Uh, but it takes a system. And obviously, Robert has the uh, the right sauce. So I'm excited about getting to work with him and Brick and uh, Mark Kwan, former teammate of mine. And uh, it's a great staff. But you know, I'm an old I'm an old guy, so I want to be a part of a team that can win it all. And I believe that this is uh, a place we can get that done. Over right here, Rich. Hi, Aaron. Rich Salini, ESPN. It's been about six Hi, weeks. Hey, it's been about six weeks since you said on McAfee that you wanted to play for the Jets. So I'm just curious, 
what was it like? This process lasted a, a pretty long time, longer than people expected. What was it like for you waiting the six weeks? And was there any point where you thought maybe that this trade would not happen? And when did you, did you know for sure that you were going to be a Jet? Not, I mean, not really. I believed it was going to happen the entire time. Just a matter of, uh, I think, waiting each other out. Uh, my intention coming out of the darkness was to pursue uh, this opportunity. And I enjoyed the meeting uh, with, you know, Woody and Christopher came out. These two guys, Hack, Jaime, and I just got a great feel with uh, all those guys about the possibility. And as I leaned into it, uh, getting back into some more strenuous workouts, um, I just really believe that this was where I was supposed to be. Um, a lot of things had to come together. And I, I believe there was some major synchronization to make this happen. Um, but I'm excited about the opportunity here. I always believed this was uh, possible. And things moved pretty quickly on Monday. And, and thankfully, I'm here now. Bruce. Aaron, Bruce Beck, NBC4 New York. Hey, Bruce. Welcome. Thank you. How driven are you to win for this fan base? which hasn't been to the playoffs since 2010, the longest stretch in professional sports for the four different leagues right now. I mean, it's, ex it's exciting. The Jets have an incredible, passionate fan base. I saw that last year at Lambeau. Obviously, you know about Fireman Head and, and uh, uh, you know, his passion for the team. Uh, I think that's an exciting draw to this as well, as being a part of something special. I grew up watching old VHS tapes of... Uh, of the Super Bowls. And so obviously I know about the guarantee and, and Broadway Joe. Been a while since then. I noticed uh, walking in this morning that that uh, Super Bowl three trophy is looking a little lonely, so. Right. Hi, Aaron. Uh, Brian Costello, New York Brian. Post. In your view, is this, you're here for 2023 and then we'll see what happens? Or do you view this as more than a one year thing right now? Yeah, right now I'm just going to focus on this season, and uh, I'm excited about being here. I expect to be here uh, for the duration of the off season, and I'm excited to get, to get to know my new teammates and the coaching staff and the organization. And and obviously I have a background with Coach Hackett and that offense, but um, I'm excited about just diving in and being a part of uh, this group and getting to know some of the names of uh, my teammates. And also I'm excited about working with all you guys. I've heard a lot about the New York media and. Excited to see what that's all about. Matt. Uh, Matt Schneidman, The Athletic. Hi, Matt. Hi.